Hey you guys, it's Rachel here with Senza Tempo Cani Corso. So I'm here with Bella Donna. Um, she probably needs to go to the bathroom. Um, she's been in her welcome box all day. Um, she, uh, oh, I see you, honey. I see you. Yes, you want to come out. Um, she was kind of panting this morning, and I could tell that she was going to be getting close. So we went ahead and set up her whelping box, which she was super excited about. She literally, um, wagging her, wagging her tail and, you know, watching us do it. And just moving the blankets around while yeah, you're... moving. Yeah, literally moving the blankets around. She's being really funny. So, um, took her temperature this morning. It was around 100, which is normal for dogs. Um, it's, it's dogs are anywhere between 100 and 102. And, um, so even 100 is slightly low, but not, not, you know, concerningly so. And, um, so we put it together and she's been sleeping all day. And then, um, we took her temp temperature this evening and um it was at 98 and so for those of you that are aware um or are new any anywhere um what was it 98.1 yeah 98.1 so I, th I thought it was 98.7 no, okay so 98.1 is anything 98 is um when your um dogs drop their temperature whenever they're going to go into labor so it's typically within 24 hours of a temperature drop. So she could be having them, the way she's acting, I don't know. I don't think it's going to be tonight. Could be. I don't think so. I think it's going to be in the morning. She could pull a call um, with her mom and just like... It's either going to be in the morning or tomorrow night. Preferably in the morning. That would be awesome because then the vets will all be open and it won't be it's such be a big morning. deal getting her into the vet. Um... But nonetheless, I just wanted to let you guys know that we are officially on Puppy Watch. Um, I also noticed that um, the, her tatas are enlarged and also her yoni is also enlarged. Ain't no sugar. We fed her some eggs today, some farm fresh eggs, and so there's some shells in here. Um, we like to give them the shells in case they want them, which a lot of times they will eat them. That way there's some calcium uh, that they can get as well thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. but that's about it um we've just been doing our daily chores and stuff like that um savannah do you mind grabbing that um dixie cup over there that fell down the cat knocked it down yes. um and so anyway so we've been doing our chores i just got done cleaning the kennel room which is like a weekly thing um we uh, we clean all the kennels clean the trays, and then we move them and clean up underneath them, clean the walls. Um, and then we always put puppy pads down underneath um, the actual kennel setup. That way, if on the off chance that something does get through, it gets caught in the in the puppy pads. I feel like I'm him. Um, that's Jet. Oh, I'm so, um, mm -hmm. so anyway, so I just wanted to kind of let you guys know, um, like I said, I don't know that we're, that we're there yet. But it's, you know, I think we're, we're going to be getting close. Um, and so, uh, so anyway, so I'm going to do, I'm going to try to finish my cleanup. I need to vacuum my room, sweep my bathroom floor, kind of get just some tidying up done. Um, and, um, you know, and that way I can kind of relax and feel okay about doing it. I don't know why, but I wasn't feeling well today. I think I got glutened. As many of you know, um, I'm celiac, so um, gluten and me don't get along, and so it makes me, me uh, really sick. My stomach gets really sick, I get bloated, and I get these horrible migraines that not even like massive amounts of Motrin can really touch. I get lethargic, um, I get dizzy, like I get, um, what is it called, vertigo and just super moody uh and i just feel exhausted like like just walking just takes it out of me and so i had to i took some motion this morning when i woke up and then um and then around three o'clock it hit me again and so i took a nap which i hate doing i'm one of those people i don't know if y'all saw that thing on um uh tiktok which is funny because i didn't know that other people were like this but um, I'm one of those people that like, if I take a nap, I wake up with like this melancholy, um, 
just like I'm the last human alive in the world. You know what I mean? Like, where am I? What's going on? It's a horrible feel. I hate napping, but I really, I really needed it. And so, um, so anyway, so that's kind of where it's at. So, um, other than that, everything's good. Uh, like I said, I kind of got over it and then got to working on stuff. I kind of try to combat that kind of stuff by like, if I feel negative, I try to do things that will make me feel positive. And so for me, that's cleaning, um, just getting to, just getting to clean things up around me and, um, have a, you know, clean environment always makes me feel really good. So, um, so anyway, so that's what we're doing. And then once I get just those basics done, then I'm going to sit in here and probably, um, do some paperwork to get my taxes done for this year and, um, just kind of tidy up and do some things and get ready for my little Miss Belladonna to um, have the next batch of my Mortigan puppies. So that's exciting. I'm really excited about it. So I hope you guys are having a great day or a great evening, and I'll talk at you later. Bye!